Hello everyone, this is Rachel or Calanthiel Tan and I'm here with a little haul video. This time I purchased two sword keychains for Pepper and Pumpkin, my YoSD girls. Pumpkin was my second ball jointed doll and I purchased her from Resin Soul. Her head is a Resin Soul Bay and her and Pepper's bodies I ordered from Mayu a while back and they're supposed to be incoming but they haven't gotten here yet. I've been wanting them to be either mercenaries or perhaps like um, monster hunters and for that I wanted some weapons for them. This is the title of the item. I do not know how to pronounce this word, but it's a method where a metal object has wire put on top of it in shapes and, and glass or enamel is added inside the shapes, either colored or it's painted later, to create designs. I've seen beads like this that are made with this method. Probably when you see the item and I unwrap it, you'll recognize and go, oh, I've seen something like that before. But if you've ever gone shopping for BJD or doll weapons, you'll know that this is a really, really nice deal for that. I do not know for sure if the sword can come out of the scabbard or not, but either way, it should be a great prop. And then I don't know how to pronounce the name of the shop. And I don't want to say it wrong, so I'm going to show you guys that part of the invoice too. This is the name of the shop that I purchased this from. They had good reviews, so even though I, you know, never heard of them, and they don't typically sell like doll project products, I thought, why not give this a go? So it looks like they cut down one of those small flat rate boxes to create a nice little inner box to go inside of their mailer. Okay, it does feel like there's two of them. I was scared there for a second because they wrapped it together. These are vintage, supposed to be vintage keychains from the 1970s. Oh wow, they're tiny. So they might be a little more of a dagger size for a 1-6 scale. <laughs> the swords do come out. This is awesome. Okay. This one feels like it's getting a little stuck, but it does come out. The sword is curved, of course, so I'm sure that causes some resistance. And then this loop you could use to attach to like a belt or something like that. And I might eventually take wire cutters and just snip off this little loop here or I could add like a bead or a little tassel to it to make it look more intentional. Um, I think these will be like small swords for them or maybe daggers, which is fine, especially if they're gonna be assassins, you know, a small discreet blade would be preferable. But I'm I'm really tickled with these. They are real metal of some kind. I'm not very knowledgeable in metals, so I don't know what kind. I believe the um, listing said something about brass plating, but I wouldn't know if it wasn't real brass because I just don't know about these things. I really like this dragon design here. If there had been more than one color available, I would have gotten like um, the same item but in different colors for Pepper and Pumpkin, but this was the only one they had. And when I realized how much all of the other weapons item options cost, I was like, you know what, they can have matching weapons, that's fine. And I feel like it looks detailed and thin and sharp enough to look good in pictures, but obviously, you know, it's not sharp at all. So there's no risk of hurting myself or the dolls or their clothes if I take pictures with them. And this does look like it would fit in the hand of a 1-6 scale doll. So I am really impressed. I want to show you guys the name of the shop one more time, so if 
Now that you've seen them, you would like to get something like it. This is the shop. I will link it below in the description box as always. And if you have ever bought uh, miniature weapons for your dolls, I would love to hear about them in the comments. What kind of weapon you got, what size, and where you purchased it. I always find it interesting hearing about how other people have customized and accessorized their dolls. If you liked this video, be sure to leave a like and a comment. This helps out both of us because it helps YouTube suggest content that you like to you more accurately. And it helps me out because it shows YouTube that people are willing to engage with my content and it shows my content to more people. If you would like to see more of my content specifically, you can subscribe. I have a Facebook group linked below. Anyone 13 years of age or older is welcome to join. And I just post there whenever I put up a video here on YouTube. If you want to help support the channel financially, I have an eBay shop linked below where I sell things that I use in videos and decide not to keep. And I also have a Patreon where you can support me for as little as $2 a month. Those who support me on Patreon get access to all of my content one to two weeks early before it's available to the general public on YouTube. And as soon as I reach my first support goal, I will begin giving away one doll every single month to a patron. So be sure to check out my Patreon and see if that's something you might be interested in. Those who support me on the Fairy Godparent tier on Patreon, in addition to what I've already mentioned, also get a sticker sent to them every month of one of my dolls and a shout out in every single video I make. So shout out to Road to Eret Fan and my anonymous fairy godparents. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.